Good morning, my friends, and well, it's a warm but overcast, <laughs> a warm but overcast morning today. I hope you guys are doing great. Today, we're playing a little bit more Quern. Let's go. You might, you will, you will see. So I've upgraded to a three monitor setup now. So what you'll probably notice is that I'll spend a little bit more time looking up there. Um, because that's where I've got my um, recording preview. I'm not sure. I haven't quite, haven't quite maybe worked out the perfect way to lay out these windows uh, just yet. But we'll see. Maybe I need to undock my recording preview and move it down. Because the, the rest of the, the rest of the nonsense in OBS when I'm recording, as opposed to streaming, um, kind of don't matter. But yeah, okay. Well, do you know what? We can go back to... Uh, where, is it? where 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 is it? Here. This is what we're... This is what we're going to make again. Right? So, let's start with making some tax her. Yeah, and we know tax her requires the blue flower, the red thing, the two of those, one of those, one of those, and then we are going to have... So we make the tax her on here, then we put one tax her in, the ferv, the two yen, two years, green, two white, one, and that makes crystal dissolving fluid. The other option actually is that we do two years, one orange, two red, one purple, two blue, because is the plant that we're trying to get rid of, I think we want to dissolve the plant, probably, rather than make the plant grow as it would be um, here, let's say. I realise I actually need to click inside the inside the uh, thing to give it focus. Okay. Because, yeah, saying this thing without actually clicking inside the browser window doesn't actually show the mouse. So, uh, that's something to remember. Right. Let's go make some taxaha. This is empty. Nice. We make taxaha from the plants over here. And it's going to be it's going to be quite a a reasonably lengthy procedure, let's say. So we're going to grab one of them, pop it in there, turn the handle. Okay, next plant, next plant. I need to do the Zavara Nefera, which is the one behind the red. And the one behind the red we worked out was this one here. I think we decided there were no other pictures of. Now this is of course on the assumption that... Now this, this would be a question of um, two keys for one lock again, right? Which we know this game is not above doing, so that's fine. We've got one which kind of, kind of looks a bit like a mushroom. Uh, wait. It's a red, oh, it's, it's like a red berry. That's this one, isn't it? Yeah, none of the others look like red berries. So we need uh, two of those. Yeah, so this would be a one key for two locks kind of situation, which the game has done occasionally. But do you know what my spidey sense tells me? My spidey sense tells me that it's going to be something in that cupboard over there, which we've not used yet. But let's go for the more obvious... 
you know, let's not overthink it. Let's go for the more obvious one first, right? Okay, and then the purple tentacles. Wing. And the purple tentacles go in here. Right, we're gonna put that under there and then push that down. Okay, and that, my friends, is Taxaher. I think my I think the alchemy puzzles might might be my favourite ones actually. They remind me of my chemistry days. So we need a ferv. We need two yen. Okay, and then we need from the spoons one green. Use the telescope, teleport up, and telescope, teleport up, pour this into the funnel, see if it kills that plant. Maybe it will. I mean, maybe not. I mean, maybe what we're trying to do is we're trying to make the plant grow and turn green and sprout and wander off on its own, uh, on its own devices. Okay, here we are. We pour it in. Yeah, nothing happened. Okay. So, crystal melting solution. Crystal melting solution. Not the one. Not the one. Okay. Next thing to try. Yeah, next thing to try. Now, probably, the answer is going to be on a recipe scroll somewhere that I just haven't found. You know, because... Why would it be the same recipe that works twice? Let's quickly put together the recipe for... Um, let's quickly put together the recipe for reviving the plants because that's a very simple recipe it doesn't take very long to put together and it at least pulls that out so it's two yaharas to bring it up again it's the one at the bottom of your screen yeah bottom bottom left it's two yaharas and then we're going to grab um an orange Two red. Uh, a purple. And two blue. So this is plant reviving formula. 
It's the only other. Um, it's the only other recipe that I have, and I'm not necessarily expecting this one to work. It's more a question of ruling it out because there's nothing worse in one of these games than um, disregarding something that you think is like the obvious solution or wouldn't work or whatever and then not trying it and then realizing that oh no that's okay in fact actually this exactly that happened in this playthrough when we got so transfixed on the red um, spill that we didn't actually test the red paint in in the alchemy lab, yeah? Okay, plant revival formula. Not the one. Not the one. Okay. So. So, we are missing from somewhere then. Gotta be alchemy related, yeah. Oh, yeah, the question mark is to give you a hint. Yeah, no, we don't want hints, we don't want hints. Must be missing a set of ingredients from somewhere. Or an ingredients list, a recipe. We're missing a recipe. That's the word I'm looking for. It must be somewhere that we've been to recently, I would suggest. Just on the basis that. See, that's, that's the downside with me putting my OBS preview up the top there, is if I leave it on the, if I leave it on the Miro board, sometimes I don't notice for a little bit longer. I need to practice with it, I need to practice with this setup. Um, and you know what, I mean, maybe it is, uh, maybe it is overkill. Recipes, recipes, recipes. What can we find? So we know we're not going to be able to go to the third location. Oh, hang on. Did I pick up another one of these? No, I didn't yet. Okay, fine. Okay, let's look for some environmental clues around the cabinet itself. Yeah. So I don't think there's anything of interest in the book. Okay, what we've got is we've got a... If we go back to the letters... Right, the letter for the alchemy lab. That's interesting. I don't think we used that picture, did we? And this is the latest letter we've got. Okay, that's just a picture of an archway. Yeah. Mm. This is my first coffee of the morning. So maybe I'm a little bit slower than usual. <laughs> did we use did we use that? You managed to get into the mechanics. Clearly you can 
Did we use that picture as a clue? No, maybe we didn't. Okay, the boat was only designed to get you. This is a place where I dive deeper into learning about the vegetation. Through her Belgian comes through a far from my original expertise, studying experiment recipes and manuscripts from the everything I need to master these arts. At the time I thought the opportunity this place offered me was a blessing. I was a wanderer back then who always enjoyed being alone. I often visited these gardens to relax and admire the beauty of nature. They already separated and named all of the native herbs. Decided to keep their original names. You're probably wondering why all of these plants are dry, considering the unique attributes of the island. The truth is they cannot wither naturally, so I had to weaken them myself. It is essential to find a way to revitalize these herbs. No reason to be worried, just barely. But they are alive. Okay. So he doesn't really talk about how he weakened them. It's strange because this like is hardly looks like a plant, does it? It almost looks sort of metallic, but well when you when you actually like look really really closely at the texture it, it does sort of look like a plant, doesn't it? I mean it's coming out of a plant pot, let's say it's a plant. So I need to get this plant to wither. How did he get his plants to wither? It's not clear. So the... Uh, so to make a solution out of... Herbs, you need to mix six herbs together. There are four in that little cabinet. The cabinet has to have the relevance, right? So what was it? It was fast, slow, green vision and uh, double vision, right? It's not super obvious to me. <laughs> oh, we can't even actually um, do that now. My best thinking at the moment is there's got to be some clue around here on how he withered these plants originally. He, he, he says he did it in a letter. But no clue as to how, how he did it. You know what? I didn't use my blue staff at all. Up the top there. My blue staff of knowing.
The environment is such that it's only if you're really traveling from one end of the map to the other do you actually have enough time to take a sip of coffee. Okay, blue staff of knowing, do your thing. Bah, there's nothing here. Nothing here at all. What the heck, blue staff? You fail me again. Pretty sure there was not a hint in this book. This is just law. Okay. Let's check out some of the places I've been to recently, then. See if I've missed anything. I don't think this has opened anything up. I'm, do you know what? I'm actually really unclear how from that, I really lucked in to getting this one, right? Because I, I just thought, ah, oh, putting the white, uh, putting the white thing into the telescope, Let's see what that does. So I, I kind of lucked into that one. There's no way I looked at that diagram and went, Do you know what? That looks like one of those dome things could actually come up out of the ground. That was very fortunate. That was very fortunate. Cup of tea. Cup of tea. My mother, who was incredibly English, very old school English, you know. Um, whenever anyone would come to visit, she would be like, Cup of tea? Cup of tea? I'd like a cup of tea? And it was a bit of a, uh, it was a bit of a joke amongst my friends. Recipes, recipes. Just give me a recipe book, mate. <laughs> I mean, the uh, the plot of this game, the main conceit is is very sort of ah yes. The reason that these are a linear series of puzzles for you to complete is because I've designed it to be that way. <laughs> Like the, um, it is basically, um, from a setting point of view, like the law, in, <laughs> weirdly enough, I actually find the law really interesting. The, the idea that this world 
is part of a multiverse and that there are sort of various worlds in the world chain and so on. I find that kind of interesting. The, the, and like the multi-dimensional empires and so on and it's the only world that's so far been found with more than um, with more than three gates. Um, that's really interesting. The So I, I would call that the law. The setting of the game being I've kidnapped you and you must now work through these puzzles and the reason these puzzles form a particular order is because I've designed them to do that um, is basically one step up from an escape room, right? It's one step up from you have agreed to be locked into this room to solve a series of puzzles for your own edification um, or for your own gratification, I suppose, rather. Um, which I'm not saying is a bad thing, I mean like Simple is often better, right? Simple is often better. Um, it's just an amusing thought that I had, or I thought it was amusing anyway. <laughs> We're in the wandering phase. We're in the wandering phase, I can feel it. I've wandered past that crystal skull so many times. If there was if there was a random recipe sitting on the floor, would have found it by now. Going uh, going around there. This puzzle I really liked, the fact that you needed to put the pine cones in, dip the thing, grab the fish, that was, that was a good puzzle. I mean... No, yeah, we can't even uh, we can't even use this one because it doesn't have the right uh, doesn't have the right handle for the spell. So it's definitely nothing to do. The only thing we could use to fill that was the cast, which is back in the uh, T tunnel, but that doesn't activate anymore. So that's that's just not available. Again, we're sort of looking for clues. It might not be something that's interactable. It might be something that's just in the environment, right? Like a like a dead plant with something spilt next to it. Uh, what if I take a what if I take a jug of slosh? No. <laughs> get one. Just get a just get a cupful. It's um mystery juice. To be fair, we could try out the effects of various berries. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh well, then. 
There we go. Those berries are small enough to go in, surely. Ah, they are. Go on, let's try, let's try some yellow juice. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, it's upside down. And back to front. That's mad. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Taste all the berry juices. Okay, fine. That's funny. I mean, there's six berries. Like, I don't see how that can be a thing, though. Because what you get out of what you get out of here is a is a is a thimble, and I I'm pretty sure. Right, yeah. Let's think about this logically. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. If I go and grab here, I want to I want to fill up my test tube or something. Yeah. Oh, and it is actually going to need to be. Well, do you know what? I might as well do it then, right? There's six berries, and you need to crush six things together to make a to make a thing. So let's do one of each berry, and then we're going to try and put the um, and try and put the test tube into that funnel. Now, for the record, I don't think this is going to work. Mostly what I'm looking to do is to check that the jug animates on the funnel. Yeah. I'm not expecting the test tube to animate on the funnel. Which means whatever we're pouring down that funnel needs to come from the alchemy lab, not from the garden. It's an ominous, silvery looking liquid, isn't it? Look at that! That's a weird looking, that's a weird looking output. Now I suspect this is not going to animate at all. Now of course what we could then do is just pop it into the um, cauldron and transfer it over to the jug straight away. But there's been no clue to suggest that the fact that six the fact that there are six berries and you require six inputs to get a test tube output, there's nothing to suggest that that isn't anything other than coincidence. And let's try it. No, that won't do. Um, it's also probably worth pointing out, just for completion purposes, that there are far, far too many combinations that you, could, you couldn't possibly brute force a solution to this. Um, there are so many different colours of compound and so many different combinations of berries you could do. You are literally probably looking into the... I'm going to guess billions or trillions of combinations because you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different compounds here. You've got at least. Oh, yeah, I was going to transfer that into a jug, wasn't I? So just pop it into there. We're just going to pop the jug straight on here. And we're just going to just go. So that's just berry juice now in jug form. But yeah, you've got eight combinations. You've got something like, uh, what is that, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. You've got thirteen different plants. And they can be combined in any order, including doubles of themselves. So as an order of magnitude estimate, I would estimate it's going to be probably in the billions rather than the trillions, but it's, it's going to be a big number. OK, 
Okay, here we go. And go. Well, I don't know what I was expecting. Um, shoot. I'm a little stuck then. I'm going to have to have a think about my decisions here. <laughs> okay. Crystals all black in the process. Mm. This one looks mighty suspicious, doesn't it? Like, why is this one sitting out here on its own with nothing to be doing with it, huh? Okay, right, let's have a little bit of a recap chat. Yeah. So, we know we can't get to the third telescope location because we're missing the lens that's required to open that cupboard. Well, the third telescope location isn't actually a location, it's just the cupboard that we can't open, the one by the, uh, by the fake jewellery box. And we know we can't open that third telescope location because we're missing the lens required to do it. The second location, we've got it powered up, the cupboard is powered, there's a plant in the way. The plant has got a funnel stuck in its flower pot, and the jug animates on that funnel. So that's a strong indication that you're supposed to pour something into it. We've tried the crystal diluting, uh, sorry, we've tried the crystal melting formula, we've tried the plant rejuvenation formula, and we've tried the <laughs> six things that constitute as berries formula, for what that's worth. Looking at my notebook, I don't see any other recipes that we went through. This does look suspicious, doesn't it? So my conclusion is that the jug is what animates on that funnel, so it must be something that we brew in the alchemy lab. For it to be something we brew in the alchemy lab, we're going to need a recipe because there are way too many combinations to stumble onto it. And so far, this... So far we've only had two recipes, the rejuvenation formula which is here, and the um, plant, 
the rejuvenation formula and the crystal melting formula. So I feel like we're missing a recipe. Where could we be missing a recipe though? Is there like a cupboard that was previously locked that is now unlocked that I've forgotten about? You know? Is it maybe one of these that I took a cursory glance into but then didn't? This, this is to open this, this bit. This was to open this bit up here, wasn't it? Clearly a book in that drawer. still just hunting around for recipes yeah we're just looking around because we've made such good progress recently in recent episodes unlocked a lot of new areas it's entirely within the realms of possibility that we have missed you know a scroll something that's going to give us a recipe. Tell you what though, I'm going to have to think about that a little bit in my own time because we are out of time for today. Oh, that's not great progress though, is it? We've we've eliminated a few things, but we haven't actually managed to solve any puzzles today, which is a bit of a shame. Um, okay, but hey, that's, that's how it be sometimes. That is how it is sometimes. I hope you enjoyed this episode. You've probably been screaming at your computer that I have missed something. I've probably missed something really obvious. So, um, yeah, sorry if that's the case. I <laughs> uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great weekend. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.